Alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Shower, and I'm joined by my partner. Hi. Emily is from TikTok. And I am from also TikTok, and that's how we met. So I really enjoy going through stitches, and there's this one stitch that caught my eye. What's something you learned late in life that you should have learned earlier? Have you seen those? I have. Okay, and so I went through and I collected a bunch of stitches, and we're going to react to what people should have known earlier in life, but they learned it late on in life. Now, there is another caveat to this. We did both take... So we're filming the intro now, and then once we're done with this, we're gonna hang out for a little bit and wait until it hits us. Is there anything that you should have known earlier on in your life that you didn't learn until late in life? What an orgasm was? That's very true. I didn't know that women can be gay. Because I was raised super Christian, I always thought that men were gay. I learned at 18, there are lesbians in the world. I just thought Ellen was like my Aunt Sharon. And now I'm realizing Aunt Sharon is probably a lesbian. She's but, got yeah. a roommate? She has one of those roommates. Mm. You know the type. History will say. <laughs> but now my younger sister is a lesbian and your sister is. And my sister is a lesbian. That's actually how we met. All lesbians know each other. Did you date my sister? Did you date Hannah? She's too young for me. Hannah's 23. I'm too young for me. Your sister is one year younger than me. Honestly, I could date your sister and you could date my sister. Aww. We could keep yeah. it in the fam. All right, so we're going to come back in a bit and react to the original stitch and then react to the following stitches and find out things that people should have known earlier on in life, but they didn't know till late in life. So until then, guys. <laughs> Hi guys, let me tell you about today's sponsor, which is Warby Parker. Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores. Warby Parker glasses are very affordable, starting at just $95. You can also get blue light glasses and sunglasses, as well as progressives. Warby Parker has a home try-on kit quiz. It's very easy to take. They ask if you want sunglasses or eyeglasses, then they suggest styles that fit your face. And you get five styles for five days with no obligation to buy. So you try them on at home, see which one suits you best and then send back the ones you don't like keep the pair that you do like for the glasses you don't want shipping is free to return them because they include a prepaid return label so take the quiz and find a pair that's perfect for you today all right i'm super excited to try these on in front of you guys because i need new glasses because i sat on my other ones i'm sorry but i have them right here oh i love <gasps> wait oh my god this mirror is warped so it's not even helpful i took this mirror off the wall Oh my god, I look like I can read. So in the online quiz, they have an option for people with wider faces, and I have a very, very round face, and that's a huge issue for me in the past, is that I'll get glasses that are way too close to each other, and then there's just this expanse on the side, and it looks like I bought, like, children's frames. Okay, so there's these. Oh my god, I look like I'm from the 90s. Well, I mean, like, I am from the 90s. Oh my god, I look like I, like I work, I'm a, I'm a person in STEM. Ooh, imagine me at a coffee shop just reading a book, flipping through the pages ever so delicately. <gasps> oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Okay, because they're not just clear, they have a gold rim. I love these. I really want square frames to work on me. <gasps> oh my god, I look smart. Oh yeah. Yes. All right, so I think I might return the Hughes one. I do like them. I like them all. All right, guys, visit warbyparker.com slash Sarah Shower to try Warby Parker's free home try-on program. Look at these. Ah, I love. Order five pair of glasses to try on free for five days. There's no obligation to buy them. They ship free and include a prepaid return label. Oh my God, I look like a someone that people would respect. Thank you so much, Warby Parker, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. <laughs> I, um, it really did hit us, right? Like in this moment. Yeah. My password is just my social security number. My social security number is 664. They're gonna say 666. 79. Four four six eight. I have a feeling that that's likely your number, but you're just switching it up just a little, and someone's gonna be able to decipher it. I, I just like put the last one. number first, and the first number last. All right, so the original video was posted by Sook Lin. What is something you found out late in life that you should have known earlier, but you just didn't? For me, it was that cotton grew on a bush. For some reason, I thought that cotton was like grown in a lab or something, so I was very confused to find out it literally is on a bush. An important part of history. Yeah, the cotton grows on a bush, but they're Australian. So maybe they don't know about like... 
So we're looking at the comments section of this video now. The top comment is turning the light on in the car at night is not illegal. My parents told me that all the time. It looks distracting. But it's not illegal. It's but a lie. Did your parents tell you that it was illegal or did they tell you that to shut it off? They told did me. Did they say that's illegal? Yeah. Dad's going to get pulled over and arrested. <laughs> He's got a record. <laughs> My dad's been pulled over five times for the light on in his car. Tell me you're white without telling me you're white. Oh, I can. the wrong you are. Twice. Well, I mean, if I they know. believed it to be right the first time, then surely they'd repeat <laughs> it. <laughs> they just didn't want this looks like an after school special, the way it's filmed, because the backdrop is your like degrees. So it kind of looks like we're doing like an anti drug PSA. In life that you should have known earlier, but you just didn't. That self care is a very. What is something you found out late in life that you should have known earlier, but you just didn't? That we literally become what we think. What is something you found out late in life that you should have known earlier, but you just didn't? Ugh, this is embarrassing. So this first one is by SJ Tangy. That self care is a very unbeautiful thing. It is making a spreadsheet of your debt, enforcing a morning routine, or even cooking yourself a healthy meal. It is often the ugliest thing that you have to do, like sweat through another workout or tell a toxic friend that you don't want to see them anymore. It's figuring out a way to accept yourself, who you are and how you are, without having to take deliberate breaks, like do a face mask or take a bath and call it your self care time. So I'm just gonna cut it off there, but they do go on. What do you think? I never like learned in younger life. I like self care was not a term I ever knew. Yeah. Growing up, they just like mom would put on a face mask after a long night of berating me for being a whore. And I'd tweeze her eyebrows. But what I didn't realize is that I was tweezing the gray hairs out of her eyebrows, mm -hmm. but not actually giving her any sort of shape. Were there like random bald spots in her eyebrows? Yes. <laughs> I'd rather have gray. I get my mom's chin hair. My cousin told me I have my father's ass. <laughs> How we doing over there, folks? My siblings and I used to pick the lint out of my dad's belly button. <laughs> was it like a fun We'd game? Collect night? A yeah, it'd be like, whose turn is it? <laughs> We'd collect a lot. <laughs> we would like collect it, but it'd be like, is this one's a winner? And then he'd like pull up his like cotton shirt and then we would just like scoop it out of his belly button because he's like a big round stomach and hairy. <laughs> so we'd collect a lot. I gather around my father. And so <laughs> something I learned late in life is that I don't have lint in my, I assumed that when I got older, I just always have lint in my belly button. Is your dad just like cramming it into his belly? Maybe he was doing it, like setting it up for us. I have to call him. Moving along, this one is by Jordan Burdett. This is embarrassing. So I was telling my mom a story, and I was like, and when that dog came out, I ran like Naldemardo. And my mom was like, what? And I was like, Naldemardo. She was like, I have no idea what you're saying. And I was like, you know, Naldemardo. I was like, I guess he's like a famous runner, maybe like an Olympic runner. She's like, no tomorrow. I guess that's like a Hodor situation. <laughs> like, Heard it so many times it just became the one word. Soon it'll be null. Nah. And that's how language develops. A southern accent 100% had to do with the confusion there. Uh huh. The, the, the confusion. <laughs> this is by the Lisa Evans. I can win this one. So for like the first 10 years of driving, I just always thought my car sucked at getting nice and cool on hot summer days. I think I went through maybe three vehicles and I'm like, I just don't know how to get a nice cold car. Anyway, I'm driving one of my girlfriends one day and I'm like, I'm so sorry that it's not cool in here. My cars are brutal. And then she's like, oh, well, your air conditioning isn't on. And she hit the little snowflake button. I thought that button meant defrost. So I would drive around in Edmonton, Alberta, winters, minus 40 degrees with my air conditioner blasting. Alberta's Alaska? No, Washington? Alberta is, you hear that guys? Alberta. -da. Canada. Oh. What did she- Google. Yeah, well, how did she- My car doesn't get cold, bam. <laughs> or when she took it in to get service. Yeah. Hey guys, it doesn't like turn hot or cold. The guy would just been like, yeah, it does. She bought three cars. Cause she can't turn on the AC. Moving along, this one is by a real Ava Louise. You can smoke one cigarette and not get addicted. In health class, they always told me if you have one cigarette, you're gonna be addicted for the rest of your life. It's bullshit. Well, I smoked one cigarette and I got really addicted. I did not get addicted, but I smoked more than one. But I mean, like some people do. I have a very addictive personality. I'm quite literally an alcoholic. <laughs> So. Me too. Nicotine never got never stuck though. This one is by Caitlin Lee Rush. That the numbers on the toaster are actually minutes, not levels of toastiness. Mm. What? In my mind. The 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 fucking the fucking numbers are like levels? No minutes? They're not <laughs> levels? No. I was like, what's level five the toast?
the level uh, five. The level of toasting is now depicted by a clear toast picture yes. and then a dark toast picture. That's now the levels, like on mine. Also, who's toasting for five minutes? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's five entire minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> it just comes out of brick. What the shit? It wasn't even a good one. No, it was great. I wouldn't put my name on it. <sighs> Sign my John Hancock. <laughs> this is by Chels Catherine. Um, that dating men was optional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that you could be a lesbian yeah i didn't even realize that people could like girls could be gay i think i my parents are pretty hip i feel like i knew <laughs> i thought you were saying my parents are pretty gay when i came out to my mom she was like well i used to make out with my friends in college i'm like that's not the same thing <laughs> my first time making out with a girl when i was 18 and it was at a summer job sam if you're out there okay um moving <laughs> Long. <laughs> this one is by the Jewish idiot. Can I say that? That's their name. I'm scared. I spent most of my life thinking that Abraham Lincoln was our fifth president because he was on the five dollar bill, and he was not. He was the sixteenth president. So. But that explains why he's on the sixteen dollar bill. <laughs> you don't want to laugh. <laughs> I don't really want to laugh at that. Wait, that makes sense. Abraham Lincoln is on the five dollar bill. Andrew Jackson is on the ten dollar bill. And Washington He's... is on the quarter. Andrew Jackson is a sexy man. Have you seen the ten dollar bill? Oh my god, there's a cat behind us. He's gonna jump. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. All right. I knew it. <gasps> Hey, buddy. Who's on the quarter? I have no clue. The guy with the hair. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe. There's a cat eating over there if you're wondering what that's. <gasps> oh, it is. This one is by Lauren Howling. <laughs> Where my clip was. You found out late in life? I didn't know what a clip was until I was like 21. Really? Yeah. I didn't know I had a clip until I was tw actually 21. Oh shit, why did I just judge you for that? <laughs> I like I no, I didn't know I had to be fair you were 21 before I was so technically you when you I felt before I, me I'm, yeah I'm judging my life events by your <laughs> age oh my god I found out about my clit when you were 19 what a weird way to keep track of shit I still don't know the majority of my anatomy I didn't even know there was like a fun spot because I was having sex with men and then like I think I learned clit oh, from Twitter oh, oh. oh like people kept talking about the clit and I was like yes the clit. I know what that is. And yeah. then I found out that's what that what's at the tip. What's at the precipice of my gal. You'll have to show me later. And this it is by Tra Trailer Bolton. I'm not sure why I thought this, but I was convinced like what the war only lasted like a week. Like World War One lasted a week and like World War Two lasted a week. I didn't realise it went on for literal years. I experienced something similar with Jesus being born and then him dying. Because I thought he was born in December and then died in March. And I was like, how did they crucify him if he was four months old? And then I forgot that people like have birthdays and shit. You know how like one human year is nine cat years? Like four months of Jesus time is 33 years. <laughs> and that's the miracle of Jesus Christ. This one is by Jean Genie. That the game tag that we used to play as kids stands for touch and go. I thought it was just like tag you're it. I didn't know that it was an acronym. No, I had no idea. Oh my god. When you find out something's an acronym. I love acronyms. <laughs> and I'm really good at just like knowing what they stand for just by looking at them. What about WWJD? What would Jesus do? Oh shit. We're back. Back again. No. He's cancelled. Eminem is cancelled? What could it possibly look like this? <laughs> Really? Because people are like, why? And I'm like... <laughs> There's a full <laughs> list of why Eminem is cancelled. Plus, I'm the real Slim Shady. This one is by Rinstar. It's called a vineyard because it's a vineyard. Oh, vineyard vines doesn't make sense then. Well, it Vineyard the, the, the vines. It makes sense because it's the vines found in the vineyard. Vineyard vines. I'm gonna tell that to every frat guy and they're gonna be like, I don't give a shit. You should drop dead in front of me. Me and my ex wear a lot of vineyard vines when we vacationed in Cape Cod. Really? 
Do you have any pictures of that? This one is by New Wave Twink. I thought that Mary and Joseph, like the parents of Christ, um, I thought it was one lady named Mary Ann Joseph. Mary Ann Joseph is like an actual, like legit Bible name. Mm -hmm. What is it when you reproduce with yourself? What's the word for reproducing with yourself? What do you mean, like make a child with yourself? Dude, give me a second. I have no brain thoughts. What are those animals that reproduce with themselves? <laughs> Parthenogenesis. That was wrong. I think autosexual is when you're like turned on by yourself. I thought that's when you turned on by cars. Boo, you suck. This was by Allie Graff. Okay, so until I was like 10 years old, I thought that when you ate food, it filled up at your feet. And like once the food filled up to the top of your head, that was when you died. And so like I went through this phase where I like didn't want to eat when I was a kid. And yeah, I just thought that, you know, once the food filled up, then you just died. She 100% uh, had an older brother who told her that. Your food, your food goes like, straight to don't your- Don't eat too fast, you're gonna die soon. Those calories are going straight to your feet. Someone told her that. Yeah. And was fucking with her and it stuck. Like with how people tell you you're adopted. My brother is adopted. I, I told him all the time and now he <laughs> believes it. Because it's true. One time on Twitter I made the joke, me and my sister are gay but my brother's adopted. And some person was like, who was adopted was like, hey, that's so fucking mean. Adopted is not like a bad thing. And I was like, do you associate gay with a bad thing? But I like that you were gay and you were like, yeah. oh. <laughs> This one is by Ricky Galvin. This might sound a little unconventional for some people, I guess. I don't really know. But guys, I fucking promise you, if you take four sticks of butter and shove them up your ass, you will have energy for the entire day. It's a joke? That's why I haven't felt any different. Like, what does he nickname that? Like, my turbo sticks? <laughs> That's a joke. Mm -mm. If you put four sticks of butter <laughs> up your asshole, you'll have energy for the rest of the day? Yeah, because it's like you're absorbing- So why are you drinking Red Bull? It's arguably so much easier to drink a liquid than shove warm sticks of butter up your ass. Like, that's a joke. What are the No, it's not a joke. You're pranking me. Get a stick of butter. Who, what scientist <laughs> get, found this out and get wrote a, it down? Get a stick of butter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna squat behind this couch no. and fill my face as a blunt object enters my hole. Why? This one is by 97F250. Found out that you're actually supposed to chew your food instead of just taking a bite and then swallowing it. You actually kind of chew it up. How often was she choking? Like, huh? Oh my god, imagine a steak or a piece of cake. What age was she like, oh my god, I gotta chew things. Oh my god. Huh? Huh? I'm trying to think of like, huh? she like swallows it down like a seagull. This is by King of Grape Soda. So apparently in a wedding, you say your vowels? I always thought it was the word vowels, not vows. Oh my god, imagine you're getting married and you're just like A, E, I, O, o U, U, and sometimes Y. What's your favorite vowel? E. Uh, the top of the dome. Oh. Emily. <laughs> Uh-oh, <laughs> that was the last one. So that was it. That's actually kind of surprising. I feel like some of them, people didn't know them because like the words kind of joined together. But other things, just like, they just didn't <laughs> know it. Well, you just told me like two months ago that it's nip it in the bud and not the butt. Yeah, the bud because it's the bud of the flower. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it's crazy what people learned late in life. Like where the clit is, what a clit is. Don't point at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> <gasps> what was that? Your ponytail. <laughs>